hello, hello. All right, so we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to take your own body measurement. Um, I am shirtless for this just because for males, we want to be in shirts and shorts so we can like pull your legs up here, get your legs, get your arms without any extra fabric. For you ladies, wear a uh, sports bra or something like it because we're going to end up taking your measurements on your chest. Instead of across your, uh, your chest, or across your breast, we're gonna do it right under, right? We're calling them the bra line essentially. Uh, just so we can measure change, uh, because if we, because of your bust, it probably won't look as, we won't see it as much, right? So anyway, uh, I'm going to be using this Renfo tape measure because it makes my life a lot easier. It goes straight to my phone, um, and it'll show me pretty much all this hard work for me instead of having to take it by hand, remember exactly where I'm holding it, and look at it, right? So again, uh, this is the Renfo. I send this to a majority of my clients who are wanting to take these by hand. So all we're gonna do now is take this here, turn it on, make sure it's set up on your phone so it records it. Uh, you'll select where you wanna do. So for example, we're going to start with the neck, right? So all I'm gonna do is take this here, pull it out, make sure it's where I want it to be. And I'm going to put this in, boom. Hit this button here, cinch, cinch it up, right? Cool. And then uh, on because of this, on the phone app, I can just look at my phone and it'll already save whatever this measurement is. Now, the other option you could do, we have to look at it, right? So doing your neck is typically hard just because you can't look down and look at it. I recommend you get one of these. The other option is what we're gonna do, pull this out, take it, and look and see what number it's at, right? So for me, this is uh, on 16, 15 and three quarters uh, for my neck, perfect. For chest, right? We're going to go around the chest, around the torso. For males, we're gonna go right across the nipple line on this one. So again, I'm just gonna take this because I'm using this one, I can just put it in right here. Take this, let it sound automatically cinch up for me. Now, the hardest part here is making sure you're even, right? Here, see how my backside's actually going low? I have to pull this up, which is the hard part. Pull it down right across the nipple line for males, and I can look at this number, or again, pull it out and just see where it's at and look right here. Now, if you're doing this with a traditional tape measure, the way you're gonna do this is, the so way yeah, I'm doing this afterwards, you just have to keep your finger on wherever the number is so that you know. So when you pull it together in front, arms go down, we look right there, okay? And we see what that is. Um, so one thing I forgot to point out, once we get it around your torso, arms have to rest down. Right? You can see if I come up, it's gonna actually change because my lats are contracting and everything. So we wanna be in a relaxed state. So you'll look something like this, okay? Now, uh, for your shoulders, this one is not one that I typically do with a lot of people, which is good because it's hard as hell to do on your own because you have to be able to pin it to one shoulder and somehow get it all the way around, right? Now, if you have one like this, you can circle it up and do it this way, cinch it, and tight and bring it in this way. I don't recommend it. It's not easy. So unless you have someone doing it for you, we're not gonna take your shoulder measurements. If you do, all they gotta do is pan it to one side, walk it around your body and see where they line up with the zero, okay? For the next one, we're gonna do our bicep. Okay, arms. Generally, we just do one side of these. If you wanna do both, you're welcome to. I know for a fact my left is slightly bigger than my right, um, so I tend to do both of mine. Doesn't really matter, honestly. But it, what if you only do one side, one make sure we do the same side every time. So what we're gonna do, again, I'm just gonna make a loop out of this and put my arm through it because it's easiest with this. If you have a traditional um, tape measure, you're just going to end up putting it through putting it on one point here, right? And you're gonna loop it around and see where it lines up. Now, we always take your arms at the biggest point. So 
I'm going to flex like this, cinch it up nice and tight. Boom, get my number, see where it's at, okay. Record that number, okay. Next up, we're gonna go on the uh, abdomen. So we tend to do our waist, right? above the belly button. So if we're doing our waist measurement, we're actually gonna take the belly button, come up one inch, two inch, okay? And I'm gonna go right here at this point. Now, again, because I have this one, we're gonna bring it around, make sure I'm about that two inch mark the whole time. It needs to be there all the way around, right? Here, see? So we're gonna get it all the way around. Cinch it up nice and tight. Make sure it's where it needs to be. Here, one, two, okay. Make sure it's tight. If you're doing this with a traditional, just hold your finger there on it, bring it all the way around, see where it overlaps with the zero. You can look at it, boom, nice and easy. Next one, we're gonna do your belly. For your belly, we literally go across the belly button. It's exactly the same process we just saw. We're just gonna take this. We're gonna bring it all the way around. Make sure it's even on your back, so it's important you keep the tension there to keep it where it goes. Cinch it on up. That's why I love this thing. It makes my life so much easier than trying to do it the other way. Okay. Again, make sure it's even, same point. We have a straight line. We don't want any diagonals. I use mirrors anytime I'm doing this on my own to double check for this exact purpose. Look at the sides, see where it's at. Okay, right across the belly button. Again, I can record this number if you're using traditional one, put it there, loop it around, see where the zero lines up. Okay, for our hips, right? We're gonna go right across your butt cheeks. So, same process. Make sure we're in the middle. Again, we wanna be right in the middle. Bring it around. Keep it nice and tight. Cause you don't want it to slide down, right? Especially if you got a shelf down there. Put it in. Make sure it's in the middle of the butt cheek, okay? All the way around. No twists, no nothing. As tight as you can get with this, or if you're using the, the other one, again, you see where the zero lines up, and that's all we want. All right. For our legs, right, we're gonna go through the thigh. There's a couple different ways people measure your legs. If you wanted to do the largest point, we're gonna take it at a diagonal right here. Now, for most people, this is actually the hardest one to get consistent, just because it tends to slide down. If someone's not doing it for you, it's gonna be easier to go to the knee, come up about six inches, one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever looks like the middle point of your thigh, okay? And we just take this, and we're gonna cinch it around the middle of your thigh. It's important that you are always in the same point. So, make note of that. We don't wanna take this one up higher on one and lower on a different one because you're going to get drastically different numbers and it's gonna look like we're changing over time when we really have it, right? So aim for the middle, right? Here to here. The way I like to do it, I'm looking for the hamstring. Where is my hamstring? And I'm looking for the middle of my hamstring muscle, okay? For most people, it's easier to go to the knee and just come up about six inches or look for the middle. Again, it's important on your legs, on your, uh, we are in the same spot every time, okay? We're not trying to flex or anything either, just a traditional measurement. Go around if you have a traditional tape measure, see where the zero lines up, and that's your number. For your calf, this is the hardest one, especially if you're doing it on your own because we have to be on your toes, okay? And I can go to see me on this one because of where my camera is, but we're going to flex. So one foot, 
If you're doing it at a time, we're gonna flex as hard as you can. And just like the bicep, take it at the largest point. Go around, check it, make sure you're in the middle. Make sure you are flexing. Again, you're not gonna go to see this one on me because of where my camera is, but see where the zero lines up, bring it in front and make sure it's even all the way around. Okay, and that's all we want. So as far as measurements goes, that's all we're looking for. The neck, the chest, the arm in a flex position. If you're doing both of them, do them both in a flex position. Your chest for males right across the nipple line. For women, it's gonna be right under your sports bra. Preferably do this in a sports bra, just to make it a little easier and do the same thing every time. Um, for your abdomen, we're gonna come to your belly or your waist, it'll be called. We're gonna go to your belly button and come up about two inches, right? Take it right there. Make sure it's even all the way around as we do it. For our belly, we're gonna go right across the belly button. And again, even all the way around as we do it. And then we do our hips right across the butt cheeks. Look for the middle of the butt cheek, right? If you wanna do this naked, you can. If you wanna do it in spandex, you can. Whatever you do it, make sure it's consistent every time, okay? Your thigh, when we do your legs. Find the knee, come up six inches so it's about halfway, or find your hamstring muscle, okay? If you're more familiar with that, and go right to the biggest point of the hamstring muscle, across, straight line. For your calf, right in the middle of the biggest point. Flex your calf, right, one at a time or both if you want, it doesn't matter. But we're gonna flex them, get down there, put it around, measure the calf.